Hi there, I'm Ryan, one of the support engineers here at Woopra. In this video, I'll be covering how to use our attribution reports. So quickly, what are attribution reports and what questions can they answer? Attribution reports are used to quantify the effectiveness of various touch points that lead to conversions. In other words, we want to understand what's driving a conversion event, whether that be multiple marketing campaigns, specific features, or even something like a blog post. So let's get started with creating our attribution report. I can create a new attribution report by clicking the Analyze tab, New Report, and then Attribution. First, I'll name this report Campaign Performance. And in this report, I want to see which campaigns are working the best to result in a user buying a product. These reports have four main parts. They need a starting point, the attribution point that we're analyzing, the final conversion event, and lastly, the attribution model. Before we get to the main parts, we'll first select our time frame and perform by segments. First, we want to include the users that were active in the last 30 days, and the segment we'll just keep as all people. Now onto the main sections. First, we have our initial action. You'll select the first action where you want the analysis to begin within the chosen time frame. It's important to understand that this is not the attribution touch point that we want to analyze, but simply the starting point or starting action for the analysis. For example, say we have a new product and wanted to analyze a recent email campaign and how it's affecting our purchases. Since we don't want to analyze an old email campaign that may be in the user's action history, we can set the initial action as the email sent event for the current campaign. However, for our example, we'll just start at the beginning of a user's action history, so we'll just leave this as any action. Next, we have our touch points. These are the actual events we want to analyze for what's contributing to the conversion. You can have multiple touch points as well if you wanted to analyze both a campaign and then say a pricing page before a sign up conversion event. Since we only want to see which campaigns are working, I'll first select the page view event. Typically in Woopra, campaigns are associated with these page view events because campaign data is automatically recorded when using links using UTM codes. If you're unfamiliar with the UTM codes, they're basically a way to tag campaign data to incoming links to your site. You can find more info on using UTM tags in our video's description. So following that action is the dimension. Here you'll select the breakdown for the attribution. For example, if your action was blog post, the dimension or breakdown could be the blog authors. But for this report, we want to see which specific campaign sources are driving conversions. So go ahead and select the campaign source field and hit apply. Finally, we have our conversion event. We can analyze the number of people that do a conversion, or if you have a total amount associated with the event, we can break down the attribution by that as well. Since we're dealing with purchases, I'll go ahead and select our checkout success event with the total amount instead of the count of users. Great, now all that's left is how we want to assign the specific weight or credit to the touch points. If you think about a user's journey, a visitor can come to your site multiple times from different campaigns before actually converting. When selecting a model, we can define how we want to assign these credits to these touch points. For the models, we have first touch, last touch, decay, linear, and multi-touch. First touch will assign 100% of the credit to the first occurrence or touch point. For example, if your visitor came from a newsletter and then came back later from a Google Ads, the first touch model will give 100% of the credit to the newsletter. For last touch, it's simply the opposite. It will give 100% of the credit to the last occurrence before the conversion. The DK model will allow you to select the conversion time, so the touch point closer to that time will receive more credit than the touch points further from that time. Linear will give credit equally across all the touch points. In our example with the newsletter or Google ad campaigns, each of these would receive 50% of the credit for the conversion. And lastly, we have multi-touch. Here we can manually assign credit by percentages to the first, middle, and last touches. For this report, we'll just go ahead and select last touch. Now when we run the report, we can easily see that the Google ad campaigns are working the best. Not only can we see how many people converted, but we can also see an actual dollar amount associated with that campaign. So now you can really see how powerful these reports can be. You can find links to additional documentation in our video's description. And if you have any questions, please be sure to contact us at support at Thanks.